Hello guys, it's Vivs here from Design Coder. This is the design that Gary has made from his previous videos and we need to make sure that we implement this design in iOS. For starters, I'm going to start Xcode. Just hit command space and type Xcode in the search box. Hit return on your keyboard and there is the first screen of Xcode. I'm using Xcode version 7.0. If you started this for the first time, on the right hand side you won't see anything. Otherwise, there are three options here on the left hand side. Out of this, I'm going to pick the second option, which simply means create a new Xcode project where it says that if you want to build an iPhone, iPad or Mac application, choose this. So immediately I'm taken to the next screen on Xcode, which looks something like this. You have iOS, watch apps and OSX applications as three options given here. Out of that, I'm going to pick iOS here. Select something called a single view application. It simply means that make an application that only has a single screen that the user can see. In our case, the Speechly app is going to need only one screen. So we're going to select this option, hit next over here. It's going to ask me the name of the app. I have entered the name of the app as Speechly Timer and the organization name as Design Coder. This bundle identifier is based on the name of the app and the organization identifier. This is used to identify your app uniquely on the App Store when you publish it. The language here is Swift instead of Objective-C. The devices, I'm going to target the iPhone. This app is going to work only on the iPhone currently. And there is my next option out here. So immediately it's going to ask me where I want to save this project. You can make a folder where you store all your projects together. In my case, it's this folder called iOS and Swift examples. Just select that and go all the way down and make sure that I create a Git repository. Now doing this option is not compulsory, but if you do that, you can upload your project to other sites like GitHub and Bitbucket. So I'm just gonna hit create here and there's my first screen of Xcode that has popped up. Let's double click this and make sure it occupies the full screen. If you're starting this for the very first time, you will be quite surprised with the amount of tabs and information given over here. But don't worry about it. Right now, we are going to go here to the left area where we can see the list of all the files that are a part of our project. There are Swift files as you can notice and there's something called a storyboard. The storyboard is basically what the user sees while the Swift files are what the developer sees. In other words, it's those files where you will write code to make this app work. In our case, let's go to the main.storyboard file and take a look at what we currently have here. There's nothing but a box here with view controller written at the top and there's a blank screen. Right now, if you run the app, you will see the exact same thing inside your app. Let's try that. To run the app, go to the top left and select this button that says build and then run the current scheme. If you click on it, you will immediately notice the steps at the top here where it says running speechly on iPhone 6, which is my current simulator. So once the simulator fires up, you notice that our app icon has appeared in the device out there. Just click on it and you will notice that we have the same blank screen that is shown right here in the main.storyboard file. So in order to make our design, which is represented by this file, we need to edit this file, which would be the main.storyboard file. As you notice, there are certain widgets that we can see in the preview design made by Gary and those widgets are not present on our iOS 6 simulator. So how can we add them? First, let's try to understand what those widgets are and then we will see the process of adding them right here in the main.storyboard file. There are three widgets on the screen as per our design preview. The clock image at the top is basically a UI image view in iOS. The 00 text that you see would be the UI label. And then there is our UI button. We can also implement this with the help of a UI switch, but that would involve adding images to the UI switch. Now, not all iOS versions support images and therefore we use a simple UI button that has custom images added to it. Now we could use a third party library for this such as BMX switch or 7 switch but that is beyond the scope of this course. Let's try to visualize how the widgets look on the screen. So here's a rough draft of our layout and what you have at the top is the UI image view which is this rectangular block followed by the UI label and then there's the UI button at the bottom with its custom images. How can we achieve this layout in iOS main.storyboard? In iOS we have something called an auto layout. With that we can specify that the UI label should be at the center of the screen. The UI image view should be placed right above the UI label. And as you notice here in this figure, there is a shadow which is a part of the image and therefore the UI image view is much bigger than what you see here on the left hand side. 
and below that you have the UI button with some amount of spacing between the label and the button. So in this video, I have discussed the widgets that will make up the user interface of our Speechly app. In the next video, let's start building stuff inside the main.storyboard file. In the meantime, stay tuned with Design Coder. All the videos covering the design, the Android part and the iOS development are right here on designcoder.io. So be sure to sign up right today and get unlimited unrestricted access to all the videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.